What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be looking at the suppressor in Black Ops 3. A lot of people are speculating that the suppressor actually reduces damage. They're noticing that the suppressor seems to have a much greater difference on your potential damage at range uh, compared to previous Call of Duties where it wasn't quite as noticeable. And a lot of people are saying this year it looks like the suppressor actually reduces damage rather than just reducing range because that's all it's ever done in the past. So that's what we're going to be putting to the test today. Let's get into it. So a lot of you right at the beginning here are probably going to be saying it's clear in the stats it says in the game the bars actually reduce the range and not the damage when you look at the suppressor. The thing about these bars is historically these bars are never really 100% accurate. You never want to rely on the bars in the game. They're generally just used as a somewhat of an indicator of what the gun performs like, but when you look at the real coded stats, oftentimes these bars completely lie. So this is why I still wanted to test this, even though it shows that it only reduces range rather than reducing damage, because a lot of people aren't convinced. So the first thing that I did is I selected the VMP. I just kind of picked one at random. The VMP is actually one that I noticed when I was playing the game. It felt like the suppressor had a really negative effect on the VMP and it almost felt as if it was dealing or it was taking one extra bullet to kill in like every single kill I was finding myself in. So this is the one I really wanted to test first and I found out that it's a minimum four shot kill so you'll never kill in three shots unless maybe you're going for headshots but we're not testing headshots at all today. Everything's going to be body shots and so we found out it's a minimum four shot to kill. And then I found its maximum four shot kill range without a suppressor. So there's no attachments on this. And this is as far away as you can be while still killing in four shots. Any further back and it's going to take five or more shots to kill. So next up, it was quite simple. We just found that same range with a suppressor on. So I put the suppressor on the VMP and I found the maximum four shot kill range. Any further back from where I'm standing here is going to be five or more shots to kill. And now the theater mode has returned, we can actually show you guys a whole lot better what this range looks like and what sort of reduction in range we're looking at with the VMP. Which, by the way, you probably noticed by now, it does not reduce damage. The suppressor only reduces your range. The stats in the game are correct. It is a myth that it actually reduces damage. Judging by what I was able to calculate and what you can see in this picture, it looks like it reduces range by approximately 25% or so which is quite comparable to previous Call of Duties as far as I can remember. So I hope this clears some things up for you guys and kind of busts that myth because a lot of people were really insisting that suppressors actually decrease your damage rather than your range in this game. So I want to give a big thank you to the One Boom for helping me test this. He's the guy that stood there patiently and let me shoot him over and over without shooting me back. He does have a YouTube channel. I will link that down below. He makes a lot of great Call of Duty content that I feel is pretty complimentary to my particular style of Call of Duty content. He doesn't make like the exact same type of videos, but he makes some great commentaries and he has some of his own series as well. I will leave a link to that down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.